We've just received some fantastic news here on the island. The borders are reopening on the 15th of July. So what exactly does that mean for you and me? Let's discuss. The world has endured this pandemic for well over a year now, but with the proper protocols in place, travel is possible. So now from the 15th of July, Mauritius will be allowing both tourists, residents, and citizens to come back to the island. And this is so exciting because I know a lot of you have been asking for a long time, how can I get to this island? When is it opening? So the island is going to open up in two phases, from the 15th of July to the 30th of September. So in terms of travelling to Mauritius, if you're fully vaccinated, you're going to need to have a PCR test five to seven days prior to travel. And of course, you're going to have to have some very good medical insurance. If you do choose to come to this island and you have been fully vaccinated, you can stay in a COVID-19 designated hotel where you can use all of the facilities on offer bar the spa. And this will be for 14 days. And during this period, you're gonna have three PCR COVID tests. That's on day one of your arrival, day seven and day 14. And if all these PCR tests come back negative, you're free to leave the hotel and then explore the rest of the island. Moving on now to unvaccinated clients. This is only limited to Mauritians. So you can only come here if you are a Mauritian, if you are unvaccinated. And here you're gonna to have to stay in a designated COVID-19 hotel. You're gonna to have to stay in your room and all meals will be delivered to your door. So basically you cannot leave your hotel room. After day 14 and provided all of your PCR tests come back negative, you'll be able to leave the hotel and go to your designated choice of accommodation anywhere on the island. The rules change a bit from October because then if you're fully vaccinated, you'll be able to enter the island as long as you have a negative PCR test 72 hours prior to traveling. And then you'll be able to come into Mauritius and literally explore the whole island and stay where you wish. Journeying to Mauritius if you're unvaccinated is slightly trickier. In stage two, if you're unvaccinated, you're going to have to stay in a COVID-19 hotel and you will not be able to leave your room. PCR tests will be performed on day one, day seven and day 14. Meals will be delivered to your door. The good news is that passengers under the age of 18 are currently exempt from all vaccinations and also PCR tests. So that, in a nutshell, is what you can expect from the 15th of July. So again, there are two phases, 15th of July to 30th of September, and then October, when the island is fully open to all vaccinated people without having to do quarantine. So I hope this has helped you. I hope it's concise and you've understood everything. Do let me know in the comments what you think. Like, subscribe if you haven't done so already because it all helps my channel to grow. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll catch you on the next one. Please note that things can change at the time of the posting of this video. All information is as per the government website. Please do check it out. <laughs>